Breaking news now from Ottawa, where Freedom Convoy organizer Tamara Leach has been released from jail. Thank you to all of you, and I'm very happy to be free and out. I'm out Thank you so much. Supporters were outside the courthouse to celebrate. Leach was arrested at the end of June after allegedly breaching her bail conditions when she attended an awards ceremony in Toronto. But today an Ontario Superior Court judge ruled that a justice of the peace made several legal errors when he revoked her bail two weeks ago. On this story, let's go across to CTV's senior political correspondent, Glenn McGregor, joining us from Ottawa. Glenn, good evening. It's good to see you. An interesting day at the court there. A complete U-turn of sorts on the decision. What happened? Yeah, Tamara Leach was in, then she was out, then she was back in, and now she, as, a, as of this evening, is out of jail again and at some point headed back to Alberta where she will be free to, uh, on bail uh, with a list of conditions. And yeah, as you said, the, the Crown had alleged that she had violated previous bail release conditions in that she went to an event in June and was seen with somebody who was on her non-communication list. That's a list of names that the court ordered she could not have contact with. They're mostly organizers of the Freedom Convoy, including a guy named Tom Marazzo, and she was uh, photographed with Mr. Marazzo at this event where she was accepting a Freedom Award. She also sat at his table and was seen in a snippet of videotape uh, possibly talking to him or whispering something to him. Uh, but the court today ruled that the previous judge had misinterpreted that evidence and said that the, the breach case was essentially tenuous, uh, wasn't that serious, and that the uh, Justice of the Peace, who had issued the previous ruling denying Leach bail uh, after she had been rearrested on this breach charge, had made uh, several errors of fact, errors of law. They're kind of technical and arcane. I won't kind of get into the, uh, the, the details of what the errors were, but basically he said he kind of misapprehended the evidence. And the key point was that the judge today said that the charges against Leach, uh, were she to be convicted, would not carry, likely, a lengthy prison sentence. And that's always a factor in bail decisions because you don't want to keep somebody in custody awaiting trial for a long period of time. We know how slow the courts move. Uh, if they are likely to be sentenced to uh, a, a, a shorter period of time uh, in, in custody or, or no custody at all. It's basically, the idea is it's not fair if somebody has to wait a year and a half in prison awaiting uh, to go on trial for something they may only uh, spend a month uh, in jail for. Uh, so that was one of the reasons why he decided to release her. He also said that Tamara Leach, you know, on the four months that she was out on bail the last time, uh, she abided by all her conditions and, in fact, even went back to the court when she wanted to have those conditions varied so that she could attend that uh, event, uh, Akshay, uh, uh, in Toronto, that Freedom Galley. So, uh, so she is now uh, out and, uh, at some point, headed back to Alberta. Uh, Glenn, quickly also, if you can talk us through about these conditions, because we understand the lawyers did speak after Tamara Leach walked out, uh, walked out of the court, and they were talking about these conditions once again. Yeah, she has to stay off social media. She can't be involved in anything that promotes uh, any kind of uh, anti-COVID-19 mandate uh, demonstrations. She can't be involved in anything promoting the Freedom Convoy or sort of a new in uh, in 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 uh, a new version of uh, the, the Freedom Convoy. And, and they also clarified the conditions on that non-communication list because Leach had argued that she was allowed to be uh, have contact with Mr. Marazzo if she was in the presence of lawyers. So the judge today kind of made that language more precise only if it's certain lawyers who are actively involved in her criminal defense uh, right. case uh, or a civil case where she's being sued on. Uh, so she's got some you know, more, more detailed conditions, a little more clarity, but the judge saying he really hopes that this won't be a factor and she won't be accused of breaching them again. All right. We leave it at that for now. CDB's Glenn McGregor in Ottawa. Thank you for the update, Glenn. Appreciate it. Thanks, Sasha.